Hello and welcome back to Overcrowd. We have returned to Lubden Town's station map because we're about to embark on our first Zone 2. Now that is Hampstead on the Northern Line, our imaginary Northern Line. I have plans going forward. I will uh, be going and creating these stations alongside what we're doing. We will be sticking to the Northern Line, heading all the way up to King's Cross. The next two stations we can't name yet until we unlock them is uh, Camden Town and then King's Cross. Shall we start as a new station then in Zone 2 where we have loads of unlocks? Let's take a look. Commuter rate, quite high. Money's quite high, so there's plenty of spending money to go around, which is good. Litter is high. Rage is in the middle somewhere. I'm, is this the right names for these? I don't know. Maybe. Crime is really up there. And uh, lots of germs. Hampstead. There's a lot going on here, isn't there? We've got blue line, red line, pink line, yellow line, green line. How many is that? Five lines. Goodness me. And entrances. We've got Low Street there. Brindle Street. Uh, Dunman Street. And Rexton Road. Is that the only entrances? It is. How many is that? One, two. Oh, I forgot about New Lent Road. Goodness me, the commuter rate on these is through the roof. This is the busiest one, which would be tough to deal with immediately. Uh, but then again, so is that. They're on the very bottom floor. I'm not sure we want to start there. We've got Brindle Street here, which is probably one of the lowest. I've gone ahead and calculated where the placement of our platform should be as we want as many platforms as possible to be as long as possible. We have tracks going all over the shop, don't we? Dear, oh dear. This is uh, hard to get your bearings on. What is the busiest line? It is the blue line going straight through here. So we need to figure out the lengths and positioning of our other platforms. We have this one that really gets in the way, the green line. We do have two entrances on that floor, on this side, compared to this side. So these big lines can, or the busiest line, which is the blue line, we can go all the way up to there because the green line's not that busy. And there are no other entrances around this side. Meaning our heat generators are going to be in this corner. Got it. Right, we're doing it, guys. This is the one we're going to build on first. What we can do initially is get us our money back. Let's figure out where this platform is going to terminate. If we build it there, we can get rid of all this. If we say that's going to be the stop, we can make this platform up here. And as long as it's four car for the less busy trains, that should be enough, shouldn't it? We don't need, oh, we're going to need that one. This is where we're coming in. This is where our staff will be uh, working. That side is where this top one is going to be. The yellow line is going to be up to this point. We do want it on both sides, don't we? like that meaning this would come all the way out to there like that and we could even close it off on one side but i don't think it matters really we can get rid of all of that at the bottom there we go just so we've got an idea since we do get full refunds for uh, the floors we can draw out our outlines uh, for the other platforms and make sure we don't trip over. So we know this one is that one there. That's where that's going to be. And it's probably going to go all the way out to that one as well. Meaning we get as long as we want on this one. Because I'm pretty sure none of the others cross. This is the tricky one. So if we get this one done and it leaves us. Is this a? Yeah, this is a four. This blue one four as well. The red line doesn't need to be very long. And can be this side along with this one. Okay, yes. Plans are afoot, guys. Dig that down so we can see that bottom one. That means we can only go up to here. 
but then both of these this lower one and this top one are going to be the same length platforms let's rotate that around can we sit there we go let's get rid of this a second and then we draw that line from here up to this platform edge that's 24 on that side right this is our entrance then let's do it we're gonna create us a nice entrance we will be able to get up here somehow <laughs> we'll figure that out maybe with elevators only this does give us a lot of space i do like that uh, in fact we could even have more heat generation down in this corner depending what we do up here we definitely have a lot of room to play with doing it this way how much money we spent quite a bit do i want to keep this in not really we can make that back there's another thousand four hundred and forty back we are going to have more on this side i like four either side to start off with because it's going to reduce overcrowding then down here is going to be where our staff room is and our power generation room we should leave a bit of a gap i think have it staff only maybe a couple of entrances like that and then we can put some stuff on here we might even take this back like that i haven't decided yet uh, could we do it something like that the more space we have the better how far can we go up there yeah we do want a lot of room for our heat generator down here our heat generator of course is our utility room i guess we could start small and then expand if we know where this is going to be we only need one square here don't we if we buy that back then we've got uh, room to put stuff on here we can expand that as necessary we've got to keep an eye on the money i do want all this room though i like the idea of this and let's get us the infrastructure in so we'll need an entrance good we can fit that in the rate of this entrance is quite high entrance j it is now <laughs> it's lost its name what do we need utility room if we just build it from we'll have a little corridor for our staff to walk through and another little door possibly there because we will need them to walk up and down here won't we so we'll start from there how much is it going to cost us 600 it's probably a little big we should expand as necessary shouldn't we and then we can sell back everything behind it until we're required to uh, add more generators where do we want this door down here yeah when we need to add more utilities we can what else do we need obviously a tool room we'll leave actually can we figure out what sort of length we need can we add to it like this oh no it needs to be a certain size like that there we go and then if we get the utilities can we figure out if that's the perfect size or whether we need to do something different yeah it's uh we could do with one more couldn't we possibly what happens if you do it this way that is it isn't it that's perfect yes that is the perfect size so we can have quite a few things in there i like it don't worry that's not what we're having so we figured that out we can sell all that back hopefully since we know that this can expand fully down here and we don't mind them going side by side let's get everything that's going to be needed in here which is well we do need the fuel barrels i know i sold about a bajillion of them but we can just have one generator to start with uh, in fact you'd want it over here in the corner wouldn't you one generator there now that should be enough power to last us for quite a while uh, we don't need a capacitor i don't think we'll just start small we'll have a fuel barrel there uh, because we've got to stick the lights in and everything we've got nothing at the moment let's stick the uh, platform in we can have this on both sides so there's lots of room to mingle around this is where this track's gonna end so we're not going any further back we can go around it and cut into it we should have a little more room here i think this is going to get busy isn't it and we had that issue in our last station so i'm going to go all the way up to there that's where our entrance is going to be just there and we'll just have it like that for now so we can fit more ads we'll stick our turnstiles in 
like that and like that. So then we've got an exit and an entrance. Beautiful. So far, so good. What else do we need? We'll need a tool room, obviously, and then we can bring our staff in. Infrastructure. It always takes a while, doesn't it, to get your first station up and running, especially when I'm doing it. So this is going to be a similar layout. Something like that will do just fine. And, and then a little staff room over here. Is that not big enough? There we go. Like that. Should that be enough? I think it will. There we go. And then we can make a little center entry point for this uh, staff only section. Just here. Or well, we might as well make it right near the door. There we go. Straight to the door there. In fact, we could do something similar here, couldn't we? So it's straight into the door. Remember, we're doing it this way so that we can put things on the walls that can only go on walls. We could, in fact, do something like that as well. But I like this. And we know we can expand further down. So we'll get rid of all of that. Get some money back. Beautiful. Guys, what do you think so far? It's not bad, is it? Facilities. Let's get us a level two ticket machine in. Do we want them to walk across? We'll go over here, I think, against the wall. We could have them in the middle for something different. I sort of like that idea. I like getting them away from the entrance, though, and away from this. Perhaps they should be right over here, uh, next to where they go in, and then we can flip those two around. Do you know what? Yes. Let's do that. Then we can flip these around. That can be going that way and that can be going that way so you get your ticket and then through onto the platform beautiful i think we should start with level two the quicker we get our reputation up the better the easier it's going to be so we're going to have a couple of benches in here because they do moan about them if they're not available and we can put these away from the wall so we can still have ads and stuff on the wall I know it's not ideal to have them there, but at the same time, you've got to look at the gaming aspect and the puzzle aspect of this. And if it allows us to do it, I'm willing to suspend disbelief a little bit. Here could be a little bit different, but I like them right next to the track like this. I think it's going to serve as well. I mean, yes, it's a bit close. We're going to need a, a bridge over, aren't we? But I don't know where the train actually goes for that uh, the doors well we could put them in one there and then just leave it like that i think that'll be fine that will be that's all you need isn't it really and uh, yeah should we get the staff in oh no get your tools in grand what we're we gonna need we're gonna need a jerry can we're gonna do it the same layout as this we're gonna need a tool kit we're not gonna have the greatest amount of people to start with. We're going to have a litter picker. Uh, yes. We're going to have a megaphone's not immediate, is it? It's not a thing we need straight away. Uh, I would like a watering can. Uh, I would like a wrap rod. We should have all the first aid stuff, like one of each. Uh, whether we can afford this, I don't know. We might need to respond to that. Megaphone and assist tablet, we're going to leave for a second. Uh, we've got the rat prod. Prime desk, yes, because you never know. And it did say it was high crime. Now we need... Oh, we don't have much money left, guys. We need something in here. We'll probably only start with our super staff member who's fully unlocked, fully trained up. And that is Watford. Well, let's go with our chair. Wofford's going to have like an amazing setup going on here just for himself. But we need it. We don't need our staff to be uh, in a situation where they're too hungry or too ill to work. It's just as bad as them going on strike. Right, what else do we need? A water cooler. But that should be good. I think that's everything, isn't it? Now we sort out the lighting and we get to see how much power we've got to deal with. We'll do the air con once we've got running. Do we need to... Oh, that's a point. We need these, don't we? Goodness me. A wheelie bin. I guess that can go there. Yeah, as soon as you walk in, you can drop it off. 
And the fuel is there as well. How much money we got? Not much. So we're going to need some trash cans. Otherwise, it's going to be an absolute disaster. So facilities. Oh, let go of that. Let, let go of the wheelie bin. Facilities. We need some trash cans. Now, one here would be nice. And then we can disguise the trash can with a... Disguise it? Mask it, even. Disguise it as a plant. Disguising a trash can isn't going to be useful, is it? No. We want people to actually use it. I know we're going to be missing a few things to start with. We're going to have one there and one there. Money is low. We do have a watering can, yes. And we'll have a plant there and a plant there. Lighting. That almost covers everything, doesn't it? Just there. Uh, I prefer double lighting. Maybe we can move it later and just kind of keep the dullness at bay a little bit. Same here. We do want it touching where possible, but only just right there. We're running out of cash, unfortunately, and one there. We're going to need one over here as well. Oof. We should line it up, shouldn't we, with that one? and put it somewhere like that should do. I don't know, it doesn't update until you hit play. This is looking a bit risky so far. Can we get you maybe there instead? Like that, I know they're a bit wonky. It's gonna be dull in this corner, but our money is about finished with. Have I forgot anything? We've got the ticket machine. We need to open this, don't we? Open that. Done. Right, we're open. Oh, yes, we get a thousand back. Oh, goodness me, they're already in. It's already morning. Staff, we need a new staff member. No, we don't. We need to pull in, uh, not Wobbly. Although you do very good, it's Watford. Don't fire him. Look at his refuse. 99% and 82% on repair. He's ideal to start with, absolutely. On shift. There we go. Let's uh, find a place for you here. We're going to put you over here because this is going to be the uh, important area. Anyway, let's hit play because I need to figure out the power situation. We only generate three kilowatts of power. We're well underpowered. I half thought that would be the case. We're going to need another level two generator. How much are these? Only 500, that's pleasant. Oh, look at the perfect way they sit. And we've got lots of room to take these down there. It's a little close to the platform, granted, but we can put AC units all the way along here. Well, not all the way along, but we can put them on there to uh, deal with the heat. And one thing I would like to do is a staff only zone just here, here, here. They only cost 10 quid. Right, that should give us six kilowatts, right? We're almost there, guys. Should we add another generator? We've got no choice, really. We could add a small one. But I'm going to say we can't pull that in because we ain't got the power. Pause again. We can just about afford it. And I'm going to hit play. Right, do we have the power? There we go. Let's get people in and money. Yes, I know, there's no newspaper stands. There's not a lot of anything going on at the moment, guys. But we've got to make a start. I've only got one member of staff. But I don't want to overspend. This is not going to be enough, is it? This, this is busy. This is really busy. Right, you two, can we fit another one? Facilities. I know, I'm panicking already. Uh, level 2 ticket machine. Uh, maybe... One there. Will that help? Since we've got the other uh, other power generator in there. Nine kilowatts. Perfect. Can you go use the other one? There we go, folks. Trains left, unfortunately. Yes, I know a newspaper stand would be amazing. Unfortunately, we're a little bit on the broke side. But that's getting the uh, queues down. I, perhaps we need to move these. They were standing through the benches though right just to cheese it and game it a little bit yeah they don't seem to mind i think that's fine that's fine let's get another train in because 
We're getting a little busy on the platforms. Uh, reputation's okay. We haven't dropped. Money's okay. Watford's the only one that's doing anything. Oh, hang on a minute. Do you have job priorities? You should do. Yes, there we go. I saw a vandal enter the station. Now, well, there's no way we can afford a camera. The question is, do we bring Tez into the station because he's our other security guard? Or do we get Erase in, who is definitely more experienced? And I think we're going to struggle uh, with Tez's speed and perception. So yeah, I'm, I'm afraid, Tez, we're going to bring Erase in. The more experienced of the two of you. So you're going to go and stand there. She's got perception going through the roof. There we go. Hopefully, she'll spot something going on. But these haven't got any tools yet. Well, there's nothing to do, is there? Have we spotted that going on? Can we not witnessed? Well, they haven't done anything yet, I don't think. Lift accessibility. You now have enough technology to unlock lifts. This means that wheelchair users will enter your station. Brilliant. You should build lifts so wheelchair users can reach their destinations. If a wheelchair user cannot reach their destination, they will leave. Understandably so. There you go. We are going to have a step free access in our stations once it's applicable. Currently, it is not applicable as we've got uh, just this entrance here. We'll assume that there are... Uh, oh no, we have someone in a wheelchair. Although he's he's not got to go anywhere, right? Yeah, there's no, act, there's no need to go up any stairs. We don't have stairs. So he should be okay. I wouldn't fancy that in a wheelchair, I will say. Good job. That was pretty sporty. Are we dealing with this RSA? There we go. Going to the crime desk. We're going to need another litter picker. We are gaining money. We don't have anyone. We don't have a medic, do we? Staff. We need a medic. Who's off shift? Let's pause it. We just need to get the basics set up. Who is our top medic? That's who we want on shift. I think it's actually wobbly. It could be wrong. 39. Uh, 59. 53. Ben. Or Wobbly. I'm going to say Wobbly. We'll get you on, on board. But we do need a medic. So that would make sense. He has got his uniform on amazingly. Uh, considering we don't have a uniform. Blocker anywhere. We've got a bit of a trash issue already. It is ridiculously busy. That's why. Uh, we will need more medical equipment. We do need another litter picker as well. So I did see that. Let's rotate this because I'm a bit turned around. This is our view. Uh, litter picker, litter picker, litter picker. <laughs> Where is it? Why can't I see it? I can't see litter pickers. <laughs> there we go. Dear oh dear man. Uh, was that the litter picker? Yes, they're only 100. Perfect. Uh, in fact, let's go for three. Let's keep on top of that. There we go. Another litter picker. Erisa is on a break. Fair dues. You did capture someone. Mops. Mops. Let's make sure we've got mops. Oh. Beeping. What do we need for this? Staff can save their lives with it. Defibs. Oh, I hope we can afford that. Let's not have a fatality on our first episode in this station. Defib. Tools. Uh, defib, defib, defib. 150, beautiful. We might as well get a drip in there as well then. We're all good to go. Uh, there you go, Mr. Wobbly. Take the trash out, indeed. That is that dealt with. And are you going to get the defib? You are. I'm going to call the train in. It's a little unfortunate. Yes, we don't have any toilets. We block that door. So we'll have to move this along one that way will go it was dealt with congratulations wobbly you are amazing uh, yes you're looking for drinks but money is tight power is tight and we're doing the best we can at the moment it's a it's a bit of a rough start although we've gained two percent on our reputation 
We don't have any scenarios to deal with. I tell you what, it's all go, isn't it? At the beginning of this station. Zone 2 is rough to start with. We just need to balance this out. As long as this doesn't drop too much. We've got toxic fumes and stuff. But we are coping. Keeping it on one floor was apparently a brilliant idea because we would have been really struggling to build stairs and escalate uh, uh, lifts and well escalators as well uh, we've got oh yeah we need another mop don't we we've got all the tools already tool rooms need to be huge let's expand that oh can we afford it you possibly we need to expand it it's going to need to be another two yeah it's going to be another two isn't it why can't I expand that? Tall room. Oh, we just got achievement. Been there, done that. And Grandmaster Trash. Grandmaster Trash. I don't know how to extend this. It's not working. Oh, you perk. You know what I've not been doing, don't you? Yes. Could you just ignore me for a moment? How silly am I? I was messing with that for ages. Anyhow, right, I'm going to just sell this a second because I bet you don't have to do any of that up there. Sometimes I just lose connection with my brain, I think. It kind of makes sense, though, doesn't it? You need the floor there in the first place. Basics of the game, Grand. That's all that is, just the basics. So if we extend this now... Yes, I know, we don't have enough money. We will have because I can sell this. Right, sell that. Perfect. Get rid of that bit of floor. And then I bet we can extend this when there's stuff in there. And then I can breathe a sigh of relief. There we go. Oh, it wasn't too hard, was it? <laughs> well, it was for me. Right, guys. Good. Anyway, what was we going to get in there? Another mop, right? How many mops do we have going around? One. Yes, mops were... A big issue for us. So we're going to have two mops in there. I think that's everything we need though. We're a bit short on cash. There's not much else we can do. I guess we should pause it there. Guys, that's been our first experience with a uh, Zone 2 station. And I must say, the commuter rate has gone up. Perhaps because we unlocked the bonus. I'm sort of regretting that as um, our first entrance. But I tell you what, it's going to be fun to to cope with it that's what we're going to do we'll need more staff we'll need more facilities and we're going to be careful about this our next scenario unfortunately is a rodent issue so that is going to be problem upon problem thanks for watching guys and until next time take care